Good morning. <laughs> Happy Monday, everybody. It's the Can We Not Podcast. Can we not podcast? All right, stop. Thank <laughs> God. Can we not, Thank can God. We not podcast? Oh, tone is cutting up. <laughs> I don't want that man suing me. Oh, we're definitely. Fair usage. <laughs> fair usage. Copyright we definitely get sued. Don't sue us, John Mayer. <laughs> Who? No, listen. <laughs> Guys, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back. Welcome back. It is the Can We Not Podcast, episode 19. Hey, guys, it's episode correct. 19. You don't have to say that. I know what it is. Um, so, guys, <laughs> we're back in the studio once again. Shout out to City World Radio. Shout out to Sky's Crescent Sky's Radio. Crescent Radio. Shout Radio. out to Jade on the Engineer. Shout yes. out to Tone, the yes. producer. And shout out to my podcast. Shout out to my two co-hosts. Hey. Who do we have here, my co-hosts? We have okay. and Kenneth. Guys, we're back. We back. We back and we, we dropping back shit. And we back. Dropping and we back. <laughs> Don't worry about what that was in the We back. dropping bombs on y'all. <laughs> bombs all day. Exactly. But guys, how were you this week? It's crazy good. It's crazy good. It was a good week. Good week. How you doing, Evan? Yeah. I'm actually all right. We had a very, very busy week. There's yeah. a lot to talk about, guys. A lot, a lot yeah. to talk about. So Ooh. we need to get straight to the shits. Do it. To the nitty and the gritty. Mm-hmm. Y'all ready? Uh, yeah, yeah, let's do it. All yeah. right. Let's start off with the person who wanted the most attention this week. Who? I don't know. It's kind of all up in the air, honestly, between Bow Wow and Kanye West. Oh, but I never talk about Kanye West on this podcast, so yeah. I'm just going to skip right over him. <laughs> <laughs> but I was going to talk about Bow Wow because I know it's like a couple stories happened in the news. He was talking about like, oh, you know, my daughter, you know, because of that, you know, and all the things I've been through. I can never see myself get into a relationship again. And I was like, that's a nice topic. And okay. then like f- more throughout the week, he was just like, oh, you know, blah, 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 and my mental health. And then, oh, you yeah. know, oh, you know, the girls out here want to date niggas at Apple. Like he just was doing way, 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 way too much. He was trying to stay relevant yeah. way too hard. Yeah, he was yeah. doing way too much for attention. And if you want to know what he did, just look it up. I'm not going to speak on it. Just but it the up. one thing that he dropped on for me was when he spoke upon girls. Like, why are oh, why girls out here dating dudes? Well, you know, I could take you out to Nobu. And he can only take you out to Applebee's. Damn. If you want to go with him? It's like, bro, who stole your bitch? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> who hurt you, Bow Wow? Who hurt you? Yeah, come on, bro. Don't Listen, listen. I know you sound upset, but listen, my man. We On God, we're going to get you some pussy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get you some pussy. Bow it's going to be all right, Bow Wow. Just, just yeah, relax. Yeah, just bro. hold on. We'll call bitches. Chill out, Chill out, We're going to call bitches. He's going to do something about <laughs> it. Bitches, go <laughs> bitches got your back. Bitches got your back. <laughs> bitches got your back. <laughs> Back. If With anybody the fur mint coat and everything. Yeah. Oh my go. god! They don't call them past the bitches. <laughs> past the Saint bitches. The, the third. Past the bitches. Esquire. To pa- there you Esquire. Go. Oh god! They don't <laughs> call them that for fire. nothing. There you go. <laughs> if anybody got you back, it's bitches. Exactly. <laughs> So we gonna get you some pussy, bro. But to just stop right there, it was more on the whole thing about why can't um why can't girls date regular guys instead of rich dudes? Like, why are you trying yeah. to like money shame us? Yeah, that's the, exactly what it seemed like. The money shame move. Like, have y'all ever done that before? Nah. Nah, there's no need to. It's like, yo, why are you just be to? just be respectful for that? Yeah. Shit. Like everybody gets their own in their own way. Now I, I get it because there's there's a double edged sword to it. Really? Because it's like no, okay. it, Well, there's a two for twenty, so you know. That's why I act like that two for twenty then save your ass. It, it, a hey, few times. Hey. A few times. <laughs> he said a few times. To- a few times. Listen. <laughs> the one right on the turnpike. No, nah, but anyway. Wow. Oh. Exposed. <laughs> Exposed. Damn. Hey, hey. We just the it, podcast just started. Don't today. worry about it. They don't know which which turnpike. But no, nah, like uh like I feel like it, it calls out dudes that aren't really hustling though. Cause it's like, you know Is that what he was trying to say? I guess in a way, because it's like, okay. You what know, if I like Applebee's? You what do, if she yeah. like Applebee's? What, I, what if she? What if she I just was like there for the apps? So I'm not I think, lie, you're, thinking of, you're thinking of the other one. You're thinking of Chili's. No, nah, Ch- I ain't never been to, been to a this Chili's thing in my is life. Chili's, Applebee's, <laughs> Sizzlers. Yeah, she going to all the hot spots. Why you know all this? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> when it comes to eat, when it comes to eat, eating on a budget, who better than me? <laughs> well. If we know anything about Kenneth, he always gets some nice food. <laughs> you always nice food. I get the nice deals. Real nice deals. Yeah. There's some nice okay. deals. I love okay. them deals. Mm-hmm. Nice <laughs> and local. <laughs> wow. No, wow. Four, just... four and a half minutes in already. Oh, That's like three on, jokes on me. Man. Cool. Come on. It's cool. It's cool. Fire. You know what? I'm going to just stop talking. Oh, damn. That's all it took? Right. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
But no, Bow Wow was doing a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot this week. So I didn't really care for none of that. A lot of people memed him to let him know how corny he was for yeah, that. Yeah, you know, Yeah, that's that's super corny. You can't be trying to shame other men for what they want to do and all of that. And mind you, you know what's crazy about this? This is where I my thinking went to it. Mm. Bow Wow is literally like maybe a year or two apart from the same age as Drake. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Really? It's just That's that Bow Wow's weird. been famous since he was eight, so he yeah, never yeah. think it's like about a child how old he Bow Wow's been in the in the public eye for so much longer than Drake has. So True. he's experienced like he's been through a lot. So whenever he speaks to like his mental health and his like well being on shit, mm. I kind of like I, I have sympathy for him because I'm like, damn, you've been through a lot. You've seen yeah. a lot. You know, being famous for that long and everything. But it's just like, bro. You came up under like Snoop Dogg, Jermaine Dupri. You came up against the OGs oh, yeah. who've never moved like this. It's like, and and to see that you're the same age as some of these other like people in your same age group, like Drake. Mm-hmm. It's like, look how y'all both act when it comes to this type of stuff on social media. Look at y'all social media behavior. It's different backgrounds, though. I mean, but... yeah, they're all different backgrounds. That factors into it, but it's yeah. just like you know, I like I would tend to think of men who are in the same like you know. Age bracket, yeah, age bracket and status is me. Like you know, we try to move in similar fashions. Yeah, yeah, true. Especially true. if uh, you see one dude's moving right, like yo, yeah. I might want to move like mirror, him. Mirror his same movement. Exactly. So, yeah. Just try to stay away from the baby mama drama that Drake do. Baby mama yeah. drama. Is, is, is this is drama for your mama. Or? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Drama for your mama will be coming up later. Will be coming up. Yeah, exactly. Stay tuned. So I just wanted to start it off on that topic and then, you know, but just to backtrack a little bit to the last episode that we had with Nico, Nico White, the comedian. Shout out to Nico. Yeah, shout Nico. out to Nico. Um, we were talking about a viewer question. He wanted to know what was the hardest parts about dating today. And you guys said oh, social yeah, media yeah. and mm-hmm. I had said pride and ego. We didn't really get to dwell in on it. So I just wanted to give you guys the floor if you wanted to talk about it. Yeah. I mean, I think I spoke. I think I spoke my entire piece, so I don't think Akai fully got to to jump into to how he felt about it. So go ahead, yeah, Akai. Honestly, like the whole social media aspect, it just takes a lot of the <laughs> <laughs> uh, Snapple. The drink that snaps back. I'm not gonna um, bleep that because they not sponsoring uh, us. <laughs> you never know. Snapple, yo, holler at us. Um, Sky Crescent Radio, holler at us. City World Radio, holler at us. Um, tell your story. Tell my tell my story. So I feel like the social media aspect it gives everybody like that, just like right at your fingertips, kind of like access, and that takes away a lot of. I don't want to say the mystery, but just that. Oh, I get the chance to miss you. Aspect. Because okay. it's like you don't get that chance to be like, oh, it's been like a week, two weeks. Oh, man. Damn, I really miss this person. Like back oh, then. It's physically like, seeing them. Yeah. It's like you can just literally say, oh, well, I'll just go to the page and see and what they're doing on the timeline. And that makes dating hard? Not that it makes it hard. It's just that they really emphasize of a, a need to be like, this is instant. This is here. You can access this person right here, right there. And yeah. you can even be like, oh, let me send them a text. Let me send them a picture. Let me send them a snap. All this. Let me put them on my story and just at them. And then now it just looks like a crazy situation. So social media, it just, it compacts the relationship more than actually influences it and helps it, I feel. Mm. So, okay. Because yeah. I feel like it can influence it negatively a lot of the times. I was trying to dig into why. Like, I get the whole like, instant satisfaction thing and everything, but I'm more on the side of like, but. Jealousy. Like FOMO. Like, let's say I'm out, I'm chilling with my guys, whatever. I'm, we out at Applebee's, two for 20s, all around. You and know we getting them. You know, <laughs> you know we Damn getting right. that. Damn mm-hmm. right. Get that Applebee's <laughs> sizzler back to back. <laughs> Chili. That shit's be hitting, bro. Baby you got damn right, ribs. nigga. And on the budget. We, yo, <laughs> sure. we going to five rep- restaurants. I want my budget back, budget back, <laughs> budget back, budget back, budget back, budget back, budget back. But I'm just saying, Budget like, back ribs. <laughs> Shit's probably good, nigga. They are, nigga. nigga I don't know what you're talking I don't know. shit. I'm not talking I don't know. shit, nigga. I went into Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> no, Buffalo Wild Wings. We no, you down for that? Like, you goddamn right, nigga. Uh, yeah. No, we getting Shake Shack after this. Sorry. Shout, Yo, shout out, out to Shake Shack. Shout, shout out to Shake Shack. Shout, shout out to Shake Shack. Shake Shack is lit. Shout out to Reem the Realist. <laughs> 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 That's a random tangent, but them niggas in Shake random, Shack is random, wild. But it, but we, we Shake Shack royalty. Shake Shack royalty. Just know we out here. Once they hit with that sponsor. Yes, please. But just to finish that off, it's just like. If I'm out and we're chilling and then let's say that person can check in on me and say, oh, well, this person is at Buffalo Wild Wings. Well, 
I didn't know he was going to Buffalo Wild Wings. Oh, I just think it's funny know. how you went to Buffalo Wild Wings and, and without stuff me. like that starts oh, up. Who you there with? And then you, you know, you, exactly. hey, there's a picture with you and this waitress. What are you doing? No, why, it was her why birthday. Is that, why she, was that waitress all up next to you? See, she was exactly. taking my order. Relax. Exactly. No, why she got to take order? Why can't a nigga take your order? Because niggas don't take orders there. can't switch it out. Management said no. Exactly. So, I don't work there. I don't make the hiring decisions. Exactly. I just wanted my baby back, Riz. And baby, my budget you, back. But, but, <laughs> <laughs> I want my life back, but. <laughs> <laughs> but you feel like them just peeping in on your lifestyle makes it seem like oh you doing this without me so that, that creates jealousy i feel like it that's to it that's a, a thing More that's insecurity. been created because of social media because it's like you know that it was never it, a thing it, it, you it, can't it, you can't just be like in the 90s you're like checking in on a person like oh you were at blockbuster how do i know i saw a receipt in your pocket it fell out <laughs> I know you watched this any, without me. Any woman that gets jealous that you Now let's go return it. <laughs> any woman that go gets return. jealous that you that No, you I hid the movie, so now it's no, well she can hide the movie and make your return rate go up. Sure. Oh, that's, that's insane. Cold. Yeah, that's a bitch. That's, that's insane. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Evan? Like you said, pride and ego. Yeah, you. I think yeah. pride and ego. To me with social media, just to touch on that, like I mean sometimes I don't feel like it's the hardest part, but it probably does play a factor because it can highlight a person's worst attributes. And their best attributes, in a sense. Because, so? like you said, people go to social media to fill it. Maybe some people go on social media to fill a void that they're missing within themselves. Okay. Very so true. sometimes they look at your they look at your feed in a sense to see like you might be highlighting your best features that they could be insecure about. Mm. So it can feed into that, and that can also create more issues in, in a sense. It's another perspective. Yeah, that. That was, it, it does it does add into it. So I do agree with you, but to me, my hardest thing about dating in today's age is pride and ego, because mm. that goes to everything. A lot of people don't have integrity, as I've said in other episodes. Integrity is very important to me when I when it comes to dating. But with pride, everybody has pride. Everybody's too damn prideful. Everybody thinks they're special. Be, and that might have be because of social media that everybody feels like their opinion is valued and important. And to a sense, it is. It's important to you. Yeah. But we can also have difference of opinions. You don't have. You don't have to be always right. Mm-hmm. You can be wrong. Exactly. But some people feel like they're not wrong. So sometimes Very when you're true. meeting a person and they're just coming at you with their like, oh, this is me, and I do this, man. And then if they get proven wrong. They they're still gonna that. go hard and be like, "Oh no, no, nah!" But let's go back, bro. Right. We're not discussing. I'm just pulling up my point. I'm not even listening. I'm not even talking to discuss with you. I'm just waiting for you to stop talking so I can bring up my point. So I can be right. Yeah, Facts. bro. Yeah, it's just like nobody wants to look stupid. And like, then once you're in the relationship, pride is such a big factor. You ever noticed that, like, when you're in a relationship with a person, you mm-hmm. always sometimes get those like, "Oh damn, I haven't texted in a while," but yeah. I ain't gonna text it yet. You know, I ain't trying to look like a bitch. It's like trying to hit up too much. Go back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ego, like, I'm not wanna, trying to. Yeah, I don't want to bug you. Not even I don't want to bug. I ain't trying to like, look. I ain't trying to look like a, no simp. Or, yeah, yeah exactly. especially like if you like or something. Exactly. Yeah, you ever meet somebody you really, really like, but you can't act like you really, really like them yet? <laughs> that happens. <laughs> it's like yo, I really, really like you, and I want you to know that, but I can't because then I'm gonna seem crazy. <laughs> yo, that really hit. That hit some. <laughs> that hit some shit for a guy. <laughs> Hell, hell, what are you doing? No, that's just shut up. <laughs> that just plays. <laughs> To me, that's the biggest thing yeah, because it's one of those it type of things is. where everybody gets in their own way. Yeah, yeah. It's like, and that that can happen without social media because mm-hmm. maybe even before social media, the three day rule. Oh yeah, you get a girl's number, gotta wait three days. Yeah, yeah but had I, that girl at home sick. <laughs> <laughs> what if he don't really like me? I, Yo, I if I if I hit her up too soon, she gonna think I'm too desperate for this shit. You think that? Yeah, you know what's crazy? Like ways, you know what's crazy about that? This is where my brain goes, and maybe oh. I'm fucked up. Okay. <laughs> you are. <Uh-oh>. No. <laughs> Imagine girls knowing about the three day rule. Yeah. It's like, oh, now, I met this dude. I gave him, no, so oh, you know, I gave him my number. Oh, he gonna call me in seven eight hours. Let me do all my hoeing now. Oh. <laughs> let, me, <laughs> let me go fuck. I gotta go do everything <laughs> right <laughs> now. Suck. 30 dicks <laughs> he just do all this wild shit before he <laughs> ring where, where, where the ring <laughs> where the ring at where's my button where's my <laughs> find your button find is it in this <laughs> oh, oh, hello <laughs> <laughs> Jill Scott on the phone I'm, I'm, wait wait hold on wow and then now let's get back to, wait yeah I'm sorry. wait let's stop right can there. we talk Jill, about that for a second Jill Scott can we okay let's talk about now, Jill Scott now I'm gonna just say I Let saw the, I saw the video for you though for, for those of you that didn't like you know get up from under that <laughs> 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 I'm 
so I'm I'm sensing it, it touched something inside you in <laughs> that that video. <laughs> I was touched by an angel. No, it was um, a good video. It was <laughs> it was an insightful <laughs> video. It was quite instructional. She was, <laughs> she was on stage. Education. She was, she was um. She was fellatiating the the mic, which it, happens it would, at a lot of the shows. Which you niggas would really, yeah, man. Are you serious? Yeah. She I, says she does that at a lot of the shows, but yeah. people just don't go. I guess a lot to them. It was, to maybe that's are, why, because people are like, she oh, said, you gonna she, try said for, she said for a few of her shows, like depending on what what song she's closing with, that's how she ends the show. What you know? What's yeah. crazy? That's crazy. Ever since that video came out, you see a lot of people talk about, yeah, big yeah, girls yo, get the best. Hey, yo, man, yo, I, I love me I some need, big girls. I need me a just. Where were y'all when Monique needed help? Wow. No, no, no. <laughs> Yo, at the beginning, he was like, at the beginning, stop of- watching Netflix. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> Strange channel, Netflix. Strange things. Orange is the new Monique. <laughs> <laughs> no, all of a sudden, Jill Scott want to slop down a microphone. Everybody, oh, big girls, big girl, back it up, big girl, back, back, back it up. No, no, no. I'm sorry. That was just a little bit. Of- <laughs> it was extreme to the fact. Did you that- not like it? I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> and then she when you was found eating, out what was going on. She was on, eating the mic. Okay. What, and wh- how did it make you feel? Scared. For whom? The mic. Why? Because I didn't know who used it beforehand. <laughs> That's a you little concerning. Who, who, it mattered depending on who Hell the, yeah. On who's there was nothing on that mic to protect it. Mm. She <laughs> was... <laughs> not, is, is, this, is this the sound of the... Cause I don't know what I mean when everybody was watching that they all loving big girls just looking at it like, hold on. What? What? what, what, what? Oh wait! You <laughs> trash. See, I don't know what big. <laughs> hey! Hey! All right. Listen, we do Before not we discriminate <laughs> against any color, creed, race, or, or size. size. There you go. We're not size. Everybody. Style, everybody's right? entitled no, but, to their own. But was. To me, what's crazy about that, like, you saw, like, the, that's how men were about it. Some girls were like, I've been doing that. No, you wasn't. Did, 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 what? Stop, stop <laughs> that right now. Please out stop here. We got some scammers out Stop it, Stephanie. Yeah. Yeah. Stop, 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 stop lying upon your lips. Stop Not lying upon your lips. Not huh? Hefany? No. Huh? Stop lying, Stephanie. Like, y'all chicks is out here lying. Because some girls have, like, the biggest, like, ego <laughs> bosom. I be giving the best, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, no, you don't. <laughs> you be sipping dick. Shut so, up. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. What the you ain't never see what they. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? A sample what the of hell it. Is <laughs> you, she not she not fully enjoying it. She just just. Yeah, you know what? Like you the free drink, sample, the free sample shit. You ever drank Ovaltine? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a dick in it. But what like, you know, nobody's about? like gulping down Ovaltine. <laughs> You gotta oh, sip it. To be fair, to be fair, back in the day, I would take spoonfuls of Ovaltine. Is right. oh. <laughs> was it good? <laughs> yeah, it was good. It was, just, it was mad. It was, you nasty. <laughs> shut up, <laughs> yo. What? I don't know what you. Shut up. <laughs> don't look at me. It's a nasty nigga. You. It was no. Be, I would wipe it off after. <laughs> every wipe what off? The spoon. The spoon. Cause I use the Boo, spoon. Get the fuck out of here. Nah, get out my Ovaltine. That's what you're saying. All right. Yeah. Okay. It was. It was wild, nasty. But to continue to your point, of it. <laughs> not at nothing, man. That was it. That, <laughs> I said like three jokes ready lined up. I just wanted to get my shit off. That's, that's all. funny. <laughs> Sipping. That was four. God. I got another punchline. No. I don't think sipping dick is going. <laughs> I'm sorry, what the fuck, <laughs> listeners and viewers. If if you or anyone you know has ever encountered a woman that oh, ever man. sipped their dick, <laughs> let us know in the comment section down below when this video comes out. Speak your truth, kings. What's it's that okay. song? What's that You're French not- Montana song? Sipping on dick. <laughs> sipping on dick. <laughs> What is this? You're not, allow- Where you're not you alone out here, from? Kings. No. <laughs> <laughs> we, this, is the, this is the last episode. Because we getting sued <laughs> by, like all eight, this by like eight artists. <laughs> <Fair right>. <laughs> <laughs> and Snap. <laughs> heard, you, heard you had our uh, music in your podcast, your little podcast, sipping on dick, <laughs> disrespecting my music. Nah, no, some girls just be wilding sometimes. That's all. Yeah. So, I just want to call them out. So have I, it seems like you've been wrong. How many times have you had a bad... <laughs> Is that look? I don't mind bad head because I don't. For some odd reason, we sit through bad head. I don't know why men just sit through bad head and don't say nothing. I can why, tell you why. Why? 
Because we getting our dick sucked. <laughs> but I it's mean, not, I mean, no, it's happening. No, I know the real reason. The real reason that niggas will sit through mediocre bad head is because we know we still getting pussy afterwards. <laughs> no, that's not always guaranteed. You damn if what? What? Wait what? a minute. Be careful what? What? No, the no, way no, you say no, this. No, 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 no. <laughs> Be I, careful I, the way I, you I, say this. What <laughs> woman is willfully sucking dick without continuing the sex afterwards? Like what? Who? <laughs> Well, who goes? Who goes to the movie to watch the first five minutes and then few. walks out? I can no, name who goes? <laughs> no, 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 no. See, who, Avatar: The Last Airbender. <laughs> ooh, the movie? Yeah, I can understand that. We sat through that shit. You're damn I, right. st- I still want your money back for that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Nah, but I mean, I guess the thing about it when you get bad head is just like I don't know why we don't say nothing. You ever just try to direct the chick, give it some direction? No, no. You know why? It's, no. You want to know why you don't say nothing? Your dick is out. You're vulnerable right now. If you vulnerable. Piss, if you piss her off, a good point. your dick is out <laughs> in her control in either her mouth, hand, or both. And you say, yo, your shit trip. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Bend. Exactly. Bend. You try, you trying to go through that? No. Sicko All right, mode. then. So, That's sicko mode so, right there. So you, like a lot Man, of other niggas out there. <laughs> whack ass head. You shut your mouth. <laughs> He's just going to sit there with it. Mm. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a still uh, nut though, but I'm, I'm mad. <laughs> 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 what? What? This is unfortunate. Oh my goodness. Now, <laughs> oh gee, do so, better. Now, <laughs> <laughs> just to, to stay on girls and you know all of that. There was a very interesting topic going on in the group chat this week, oh. <laughs> and I brought it to my timeline and I wanted to inquire upon yeah. it, and I figured I'd bring it to the podcast. I thought y'all know I was going to talk about it here. Mm-hmm. Now. Let me, let, me, let me try to phrase it like this. If there were no more women left in the world and you had to pick, if there were only strippers and bartenders okay. left on the planet. And I'm talking about like bartenders who work at strip clubs. Um, who would you prefer to date between the stripper and the bartender? Who would make a better girlfriend? Okay. Bartender. What about you, bro? Bartender. You niggas is sick. What? How? And How you know we... what's crazy no, no, about no, no, it? No, 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 no. What's your answer, Evan? Yeah, what's your answer? Stripper. Um, what are you insane. serious that's insane you're serious and that's when i and what's crazy is about wow. this when i asked my timeline i brought it up brought it to the whole thing and I'm, mm. i'll bring up the numbers for you right now yeah what's yeah. the numbers right now the numbers, the numbers was numbers. very let's, highly let's see the metrics let's see the, the metrics numbers were highly in favor of the bartender which oh blew duh. exactly what do you mean blew your mind yeah man it was, was 83 it was 83 percent to 17 percent exactly Over 50 people voted man it's crazy exactly that i was shocked i was that's shocked and appalled that this many people were stupid wow what Wow. Yeah. That's over forty wow. people. So all those followers that that were on Evan's post. So what's your, what's your That's what he's here? saying. What's your argument here? Get out of the car. Okay. So the stripper showing it all, showing the gams, everything for everybody to see. You know she's gonna have clientele. I've never been to a strip club personally. All she has to do is show it for the clientele. She's getting paid. I'm just saying. No, I'm just saying she's getting paid through tips, through all that other stuff, lap dances, the whole nine. The bartender is literally just behind the bar. They could be dancing. They could be wearing like you know some skimpy stuff. It, we've seen the bottle girls and the new people nowadays. It, yeah. It's 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 a show in itself. It's but eleven. They're behind the bar, as far as I know. They're doing their thing. They might you know be a little more cordial than usual, just to get that extra tip or whatever, or just yeah. be friendly and you know get the nice service get you or whatever. To get you buy shots from the expensive exactly. models. Exactly. Yeah. But at the end of the day, if it came down to it, that's the choice I'm going to go with. Because I at least know that person is going home with me. The stripper, I don't know. <laughs> All I don't right. like, you got anything the, to add the to The visual of you pushing up your glasses to try and prove us <laughs> wrong was hilarious. It's going to be great for the YouTube video. Exactly. For me, I, I share a lot of the same sentiments that Akai just said, that... Uh, a bartender she's a bartender is simply being friendly just to get the just to get the customers to buy more drinks to get more shots like the more shots they have the more willing they are to spend more money to buy more expensive bottles for their tables all that stuff not the The, bottle girls no but like the bottle girls is the one that like really like soon as you walk in hi would you like a table oh my god like would you want to get we have like a table it comes with six seats we bring five bottles that'll be two thousand dollars jesus and then you never see him again (laughs) but bartenders bartenders do very similar they're like hey listen to you like oh my god you're so handsome oh hey hey try this shot oh yeah i'll take a shot with you boom boom boom. niggas never been 
I've never like been. It. I've never been, but I imagine if it's a bartender, they're a, bar- a bartender's job is to make you drink more to get more money out of you until they see how sloppy you are, and then they then they cut you off. So to take advantage of you, essentially, yes. that's the type of girlfriend you want. I ain't, bu- I ain't buying drinks from her. We're but not, that's the type of girlfriend. That's I'm a manipulative wow. person. I'm picking her up. From, I'm picking her up from the bar. Slightly, slightly tipsy, so you, smelling like liquor. Go home, put her in the shower. But then, no, but I'm then, saying that's in her personality traits to manipulate people. No, right? she's that's a salesman. Job. She's, a, she's a salesperson. That's oh, her job she's, to she's take sell- advantage of people. That's the method. Listen, if to, she worked at, sell- at hang on, hang on. If she worked at McDonald's, I ain't expecting her to come home say. and make some fucking burgers and fries. <laughs> I yo, didn't yo, say. Yo, listen. I, we, we got this barbecue cook. coming up. I said a bartender. I know it's not in your job description. I, and I know you got a off. Fry cook. But if you could just make these fucking burgers, <laughs> I, I, I know it's asking a lot. But if you could just bartend this wedding real quick for me, that'd be funny. I said just don't wear your so outfits. Funny. That'd be so funny. I said a bartender. And but I'm just a bartender. Okay, you, you a little biased. You you putting a lot of bias on. I just said a bartender. No. I, I'll talk. Go ahead. Talk. Go yeah, ahead. you got a bartender's job pertains to feeding you alcohol once you present them with money. Yeah. So you have to like gain their attention with money. Strippers will just come and talk to you. Whoa. Off the Relax. Rip. Relax. But for no, what? No, no. what is the main no, no. objective? No, no. What is the main objective well, within that? To build a relationship so you can keep coming back to them and not the strip club. And spend money to on them, coming to back get, to them to get dances in the, in the back room. Strippers like, pride is on loyalty. I'm telling you guys from experience, I'll let you talk. Now let me talk. A stripper prides her whole job base and clientele is on loyalty. That you okay. come to them, and no matter what club they're working at, versus just coming to the club for random asses shaking in your face. Okay, so that means a bartender wants to take advantage of you and will not talk to you until you present them with the money. That's perfect. If I'm going to be so dating that, that way, person, so that that's perfect. Way, once they you present them with the money, they will then proceed to intoxicate you and try to persuade you to continue buying more drinks, which is manipulative behavior within a person versus a person who has trust in their behavior, who wants to build trust. Tag Go him ahead. In. Tag him in. So That's my you, argument. Cool. So you'd rather <laughs> you'd rather date the woman who's going home. After showing off all her all her goods to multiple niggas a night, like I would say, mm-hmm. like strip clubs, strip clubs best hours are what between like eleven and like three a.m. Some shit like that. After I three know. gets late. After, <laughs> three. All right, three all right to the, six. The, the, strip, the strip the strip club expert over here. I I don't know. Out here I'm wild just, and sick of them. Exactly. And y'all so, judging me for going to strip clubs? No, I'm judge. I'm, I'm judging you for, for judging games. bartenders. Yeah, that's what I'm judging. As you. I follow nothing but bartenders. The bartenders fuck their clientele when they don't have to. Don't strippers okay. do that too? Okay. No. Yeah. Not in New York. It's illegal. And yet they and yet it still happens. It's not happening. It happened not, to you? Not, no. Happened <laughs> to you? <laughs> it hasn't happened to you. So that because that been wait told. a minute. He didn't answer. Because I've been has told. that I happened said, to you? No. I said no oh, okay. because I'm I've just been making told. Sure, it's like no, nah, we can't do that here. That's illegal. We have cameras everywhere. Yeah, we can't yeah, fuck in the strip we, club. We can't do that. Wink. Yeah. Not no. in the strip club. Not exactly. in the strip club. Ah. Not in the strip club. What I'm saying is, if you have this this person. Working this job here at the strip club. But why fucking? But they had, the, like you said, they're behind the bar. They're guarded. Why are they fucking them? And why do niggas keep coming back to the club? Because that's that's a different situation. That's a different scenario. You're saying if I dated this person, if I dated this person, I'm, I'm just asking why would who I, would you choose the, the bartender. bartender? Y'all niggas is dumb. Y'all want wow. manipulative. She's not what, okay. If people. we hit it off and we said, hey, you know what? I enjoy your company. I enjoy what we did here. They, they're liking me. I'm liking them. What makes you think they like you? A bartender is not talking to you if you're not buying a drink. A stripper will talk to you if you're not trying to get a, a dance. stripper will not talk yes, to you if you're not flashing will, money. A stripper, a stripper will, will not talk to you. She will talk. She will talk, to, she will talk to you asking for, asking if you want to dance. And if you if you say no, if you don't have enough money for her, no. she's gone. She's I'm on telling the you one. from experience. You know what? A stripper okay. is so. I'm letting okay. you, I'm letting y'all know this from experience, and this goes out to all the listeners. Strippers don't take no for an answer. They're there to build that relationship for clientele. Soon as you tell a bartender, no, you don't give him a big enough tip, try getting another drink that night if you don't give a big enough tip. They're strippers going to keep coming. because multiple strippers... bartenders. Exactly. It's like there are multiple strippers at the club. So, so, what, so which so one what... sounds like a better girlfriend? Who has more loyalty is what I'm saying. That's my question. 
Wow, you're really basing this all oh my God. Who has better personality characteristics? When's the last time a bartender gave you a great conversation versus a stripper? A stripper was is way time, more when understanding. Was a, when was the last time a stripper actually sat down and listened to your issues? As, as that's you said, that's all of them. No, that's a, that's all of I'm them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We've reached an impasse. I'm, I'm, we got to let the listeners yeah. go after this one. Because for one, me. I haven't been to a strip club. <laughs> July soon come. Can uh, we not go to a strip club? You know, we're going to have to We're going to have to do a field report a, now. A we're going to do a field trip. We have to do a field report. Yo, stay, field stay tuned. Yo, subscribe down, to the video so you can see us at the strip club losing a fucking month. Hey. Y'all down for the field trip? Y'all down for the field trip. got to do it. All right. All right. Tone coming too. Tone got to take the photos. Jay coming too. All right. She's typing, nigga. Don't talk to me. <laughs> Leave me out of this. <laughs> I'm not part of this <laughs> disgusting ass combo. So Definitely yes, up to them, listeners yeah. and listeners and viewers, let us know who would you date, a stripper or a bartender? That's just crazy. I'm sorry. Just, I, I'm just basing you, my argument purely off of personality and, traits. That's and, all I'm basing okay, it off. No, of. Okay, but no. you also have some bias because no, you've been no, in the club. But no, it's cool. It's okay. It's cool. Let's let's it's leave cool. it. Let's leave it to the listeners. Cool. You know, no more arguing. This no, this no, no. Like I said, we're gonna do a field trip. Point. There you go. Yeah, we're we're do a field trip. You guys want to come or you guys want to fund it? Where, there you go. Exactly. PayPal is yeah. Let us let us know if you want to come out to the strip club with the Can We Not Podcast Boys, guys. Yeah. There you go. And just for that, just want to let everybody know that everybody from the Can We Not Podcast, we're wishing you guys a nice, happy Thanksgiving. Yes, All the definitely. holidays coming enjoy. up this week. You know, so to make sure you guys have that great holiday. Even if you don't enjoy Indigenous People's Day. <laughs> I mean, wow. we're not celebrating no one. You know what we're celebrating. You know, you know what it is. You know what we're celebrating. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Send me Happy. a fucking plate. Send a plate. Send a plate. Send, Send a plate. Yeah. That's three. That's oh five. <laughs> Beach eighty. Oh, never mind. Oh, relax. I'm saying too much. Relax. Saying too much. Yeah, we, yeah, live. Yeah. we live. We live. We live. We live. Exactly. We live. Too live. Um. Yeah. Happy. Yeah. Happy holidays from everybody here at the Can, Can We, we Not podcast. podcast. Thank you guys for listening. We Definitely. appreciate you guys. So make sure that you know. Send us a plate. Send us a plate. Because I don't mind. Y'all celebrating anything special? Thank you. I might do something at the crib. Just go. Friendsgiving. See about, like, Friendsgiving. I wanted to do one last week, but everybody's schedule was like you know all over the place. So I was like thinking either the week of or the week after. So stay tuned. I mean, obviously y'all niggas invited, but it's stay lit. Tuned. I'm invited. Of course. Why wouldn't you be? Can invited? I bring my stripper girlfriend? <laughs> no, <laughs> she's not invited. All right, all right, all right, Can't all right. Cool, in. you cool. All right, cool. Lord knows cool. we I don't want to have. I bring, her the, bar- I bring the bartender girlfriend. That way she can help out. Putting out drinks and shit. Yeah. All right, cool, cool, yeah. cool. Whatever, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And then she gonna leave with another nigga. All right, cool. Um, Better not, bitch. <laughs> no, she gonna stay. I've never seen any. <laughs> but Crazy. also want to give you know give a shout out us the guys who you guys have noticed a shirt I'm wearing this apparel. Oh from yeah. Foot Locker, so I want to give a shout out to Foot Locker. They had a pop up shop in Manhattan. So right. you guys really see my shirt. I went Super to the shirt. They let us create your own shirt. So and within their um what is the week of greatness campaign. Yes. Mm-hmm. So they was giving out free shirts. They let us go in the gold Super room. Super dope. They let Super us fuck dope. the women there. No. <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right. No. 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 I was Don't go. do that. All right. <laughs> 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 But they also was letting us you know, try on their new shoes that come out today. So. Tomorrow. Oh, look oh, at that. Today. Look at that. He yeah, got that. Monday, yeah. So as you guys can see the new shoe. You can hear the new shoe. <laughs> look at that on the stink. table. <laughs> Stay, hope it don't stink. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, really? It was really dope, though. Like, uh, And we, we yeah, just came from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was really dope. I, I didn't buy any. I mean, this this dude Evans in there, sick. He was like, I was "Yo, like, I okay. got to get these. These like, shits is fire, fire." No, nah, they they do look pretty dope. I, I'm not even gonna lie. Like after looking at them and him wearing them for a minute, I was like, mm, "I might, I might want to pick them come, up." Might have to go. Yeah. Good advertiser. Thank you, Nike. You yeah, it, please send that check. <laughs> and now, I don't mean another get Nike. In the bag. <laughs> <laughs> send that check, and I don't mean another shoe. It's not another shoe. <laughs> so. Going on from there, I want to go to viewer questions. Oh, okay. All right. Because we had a lot of viewer questions. Guys, did you yeah. guys have any viewer questions? I got some, too. I, yeah. got, I got one. So the viewer question I got was, would any of us here at the Cameron Out Podcast date a woman who has had, like, a lot of plastic surgery done? Hmm. 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 Yeah. Slippery I mean, slope. That doesn't really, you know, to me... Plastic surgery does not really like give away a whole person's personality. Yeah. So because people can get plastic surgery for many reasons. I know a girl that I was interested in. She had got a nose job because she didn't like the way her nose was shaped. Mm-hmm. And 
um, I seen just recently on my timeline on Snapchat of this one girl who was just in very insecure about her body. She went and got a boob job and got a, her hips redone. Mm. I know a lot of people actually had a lot of body work. That's crazy. Why do yeah. I know these people? <laughs> so what, what, where am I at? Everybody. Wait, I know where I'm at. Never mind. Don't, <laughs> don't at me. Yeah. Don't at me. Don't bro. at me. Just find me. You know where to find me. <laughs> you know where to find me. But um, I could probably do it. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not going to discriminate. Why not? Can I not? Can, Can we, we not? not? Hey. What about y'all? I mean, I, I I think I share the same sentiment as you. Like I don't I don't think I would I would mind. Like I I'm never against surgery, especially if it's for like an actual reason. Like hey, like I know I I have a student who had to get uh, surgery done as an infant to repair their nose because they had difficulty breathing. So so they had to have about like five surgeries done to get their to get their nose taken care of. <laughs> Yeah, that nigga better not get no fights, cause that's the first thing I'm swinging at. As soon as you blow his, there nose. it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> nose man, nose man. Yeah, yeah that's, that's me. me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but like if 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 I meet if I meet a girl and she's had multiple plastic surgeries done and like she doesn't look like she's made out of plastic, I feel like I could do it. Oh, you know what? Is, is there any like plastic surgeries that like or both any type of like surgery procedures that you would like? All right, that's where I'm drawing the line. I can't date a girl who's done that because I don't find this look attractive. The overly huge like breasts or ass, like I can't do that. To really, me, I, too it much. Seems ass. concerning. No, not too, too much. much sauce. The, <laughs> the, like, like if you if you're on if you're on some shit where it's like yo I, your ass I can see your I can see your breasts come around the corner before you can. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> to me that's to me that's too much like you're doing too much but if it's like if 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 they're just like okay you know i'm I'm gonna go up like one or two cup sizes and i i want like i want to have a bigger butt okay yeah i'm with that hmm. yeah. what about you me it's just the same same sentiments breast and ass because it's just any it's type a, of procedure you just be like nah i can't do that that's uh, not nah. oh and if um the lips that Actually, or like thank the, you. the, the that's cheap, what I was going to say. Like the, for y'all the to really say. fake face shit. Like it's, that's it's just ugh. concerning for me because it's like you know you hear the, the chin, you hear the stories the cheekbone the cheekbone the yeah. chin the lip Botox the Botox it's, I can't do nah. it's a little scary to me the lip fillers I can't do and white people y'all need to stop y'all look <laughs> stupid I'm just, who how many black people you know getting lip fillers exactly yeah exactly true. Mm-hmm. So I, white people, y'all need to stop. Y'all look like fucking Darkwing Duck out here. Need- <laughs> Darkwing Duck. Let's, Let's get, get dangerous. dangerous. Yeah. See, I feel like at this point, the thing. What about just girls scary. that get their, their areolas switched out? For I mean, what? That, <laughs> no, because sometimes girls feel like it's too big. Or, yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, no. that's I'll, personal I'll, preference. Yeah. I mean, I Do can't tattoos judge this count person? as body um as plastic surgery? No. Yeah. Okay. No. Well, that's I mean, just, that's just, just like, inserting silicone in your body and like things like that. Alt- altering it to look different as it previously did. Mm. All I'll <laughs> say is, whatever the person is doing with their body, as long as it's not in a, a way to kind of like deal with an insecurity mm. and kind of avoid just like seeing themselves where like you know just but aren't all plastic surgeries and, and like purely cosmetic surgeries like that dealing with an insecurity like oh i i, I wouldn't say like, all the time because i mean just like sex you know, change like, yeah i mean well mm, i wouldn't say it's i feel that, like i'm a man <laughs> what i don't want this anymore and and this is the last episode there you go <laughs> <laughs> never make made sure it. we go out with flair <laughs> <You> gotta go <laughs> Trying to fucking take me Woo. out in episode twenty. I gotta say everything oh my. I possibly can. Oh, that's can. what. Oh, listen, wow. it's my plan. Listen, I'm home. Never. Jeez. <laughs> Just say all. FCC the tri- called. Oh man. Say yeah, all that, the trigger off words. Air? Shit. Jeez. Insane. You want us ha- in two minutes? Okay. <laughs> we have the to trigger, go. That's all gay the trigger Lord. words. That's gay Lord. That's Todd Gaylord. Gaylord. Um, Gaylord. Any other oh, questions? Man. Any other questions from fans? Um, I got just like, like you know, just what is it? One quick question was uh, uh, my buddy B Light. He wanted to be interviewed for episode 20. I don't know if we'll give it to him. I know we have a lot of guests. Is he a rapper? He's a rapper. Yeah, he's, he's really talented, really dope, doing his thing out here. Self-promo. So. You got a lot of clout? Oh, yeah, of course he got clout. 
How many followers he got? Oh, whoa, that's still out with all that. Yeah, let's, put let's, him out let's, on let's not worry about that. But I don't he, wanna, yeah, he did do like you know, a couple of things, up. and he's going to see about going on tour with his band. I awesome. might have to bring him up before he gets out of town. Yeah, cool. yeah, definitely. Shout definitely. out to, well, no, you shout him out yet. I don't know him yet. And the, the other two were just like. Might quick. be smacking babies out here. <laughs> <laughs> well, with a name like B-Light, he's trying to be, you know. Be Baby polite. lights. <laughs> <laughs> Knocking him out. <laughs> shout out B-Light. Sorry, Arno. Um. <laughs> The, the Don't other, smack babies. The other three <laughs> that I got was really quick. Um, how high can the afro grow? I don't know why. Who was, wants? Is that a question for you or for, for Kenneth? I, I don't know. Well, was we can give this to Kenneth. I mean, this this is um, this is happy tribal, but oh, it, I don't oh, know who that, that is. That's um, I don't oh. know who that is. Okay, I'll tell you guys later. Whatever. Yeah. Um, uh, how high can the afro grow? Uh, uh there's that Benny Harlem dude though. Uh, it's it's pretty substantial. <laughs> Benny Harlem, that isn't nigga's it? Does hair like, is amazing. That, yeah, it's a his hair is tall as me. It's Shout like out a, Benny Harlem. Yeah, like, like a, you want to come down on the show too? Like yo, be like Benny Harlem. I don't know if we can fit down. you here. The ceiling's not high enough. He's coming. <laughs> yeah, you have to put that in a ponytail or something. Slick that back, bro. <laughs> Slick back, hey. Yeah, exactly. Cool. What's the what's last the one? Oh well, second one was uh, do you believe in witchcraft? Mm. No. I. I can't even lie. There's like some weird shit. Like, I don't want to like that. that. Don't, it's, yeah, it's, hey, weird. can we not what answer it? What are you doing, fam? I don't know. Oh, not asking, you. I'm talking oh, about him. Oh, the <laughs> person who asked the <laughs> question. Crazy. This, this is Wicked X Johnny, New York City. Cool. Um, Wicked X. We know. X. We know. Uh, I don't. I don't. Let, I, I don't want. I don't want to find out the. I don't want to find out the hard way if witchcraft does exist. Last one. Past memories. What? That's all it was. Past, Past memories. memories. That's not a question. It's not a question. I'm going to ask and I'm going to roast him. Frank, why you do that? <laughs> here's, but, a um, here's a question for you. Why couldn't you write out an actual question, bro? <laughs> yeah, Frank, what you doing? Come on, Frank. Fuck it up. No, but I, I guess a uh, good past memory. I guess, hey, let's, uh, actually, since it is going to be like end of the year soon, you guys have a memory from like this year that you really enjoyed? I'll let great. us know in our last episode of the year. I'll talk about. All right, that's actually, yeah, So no Frank, way. we'll hold that. Actually, yeah. We'll hold on to that. We'll Thanks, Frank. That. We'll Thanks, Frank. Put a button on that one. Button. Go. Um, right. I got a question from a viewer. He wanted to know about um flatulating and burping in front of your significant, significant. other. How when long? How soon? Yeah. How soon to do it? Yeah. Well, what if you really gotta go? <laughs> what if you really gotta go? Man. When you letting it rip? <laughs> I'm letting burps rip before a fart. But when you letting it? When you letting it out? When am I letting it? When you gonna burp in front of him? I don't know. Whatever. Whenever I the need arises. I think it was a whole year before I waited to. To fart. Man, don't you feel like that's lying to somebody? No. <laughs> Listen, I feel like it's. I would courtesy. probably like let her know just up front, like, "Yo, don't hold no farting around me, girl." I mean, you so pretty. I know you all so uptight. You're know, holding in that fart for sixty stink, years. Though, man. Let it out. What if it stink though, man? Fart stink, bro. It's natural. Yeah, but what I don't. If it's, I want to build if, a what comfort. If it's one of those what if it's where one you of those, just you yeah. look I want to build different. her comfort. You can build somebody's comfort, but what if it's one of those where it's just like, oh, I have to go now. <laughs> <laughs> this is what's going on. Not what, like I have to leave does, the room. What if she does? Yeah. What What if she does it in your bedroom? What if she shat herself? I'm sorry. That wasn't the question. I know, but, but like there's levels. Now you're raising the There's stakes. an elevation to it. Well, that's an accident. Yeah. Is it? Who <laughs> shots on purpose? What if baby? <laughs> what if, would you? That's why I'd be like smacking him up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shout out, be like. It's not not a baby. Smacking babies does not smack babies. Please at don't. all. Babies don't deserve that. He might. I don't know on tour. I don't know. I'm just saying. I mean, for me, I guess. I just try and keep it real with the person. It's like, oh, I, sorry, I had to fart. Yeah, I had to burp. I'll excuse myself. I'll so if it happens exactly. on the first day, you'll try to like. Whoa! I, I mean, if it happens no. on the first day, like, no. If gonna, it happens, no. If it happens you, on the first day, I'll try and joke about it. Yeah. Okay. I try and joke about but it. But are you gonna out. like try your best to not do yeah. it, even if you have to? Yeah. Why? I think that's the consensus with a lot of people. Why? It, it, even in what if, public situations, yeah. people don't even like. Uh, I'd rather I'd rather a you know burp, what I, I'd rather a burp come up. <laughs> you know what I hate? What? I hate when the coast is clear and, and then you fart and somebody walks in. <laughs> hey, what's going? On? <laughs> it's just like you let it go. My nigga's making music. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's beatbox? <laughs> oh, I love music. I love drums. <laughs> Fuck out here, Steve. <laughs> Russian. Damn. Yeah. Oh man. Yo, who did that? Who we taking this shit in? Yo. <laughs> Because I work with children, I love farting and blaming it on the children. It's <laughs> my favorite thing to do. You are terrible. Be in gym class. I do the same thing. <laughs> if gym I teacher, had a chance. Yo, what happened? Yo, yeah. Y'all Damn, kids. Little Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> 
told him not Timmy to eat all the t- French fries for breakfast. Timmy the tutor. <laughs> Timmy the tutor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nasty. I'm about to call B like. <laughs> you know what's finna happen. <laughs> Dad is. Dad is. Dad is. Dad is. <laughs> Oh, oh, I had damn. another question. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> um, I had a friend, you know, shout out to Oz. Um, he wanted to know, was we talking about it earlier in the week, because he had a situation arise to him about, like, an arranged, like, relationship, blind mm. date situation. Yeah. Can we go on blind dates? Or are you okay with, like, your friend setting you up? Or even better yet, what about if your mom or dad try to set you up um, on a date with somebody? Nah. I'd, I'd rather trust my friends to set me up on a blind date than my family. Really? My friends know me. My friends know my romantic history better than my. F- you really think I got your best interest in mind? I know I got your best interest in mind. Ooh, I asked you. That was a good question. <laughs> I mean, good answer. I good asked rebuttal. you. And I answered you. No, that's not. No. That Directly the, answered the question. Okay. Do you think I have your best interest in mind? If I, I was to set I you have up. Your, I know I have both your best interests in mind in, in trying to set you up with Akai, somebody. Akai, can I say, yo, I got somebody for you. <laughs> You gonna date him? Okay, so this happened in <laughs> high school. Oh my god! Here and I'm go. just gonna say <laughs> that no, go. I, I just gotta say that Remember my Caleb man love eating at Applebee's, yo. <laughs> and which is good. So would you trust that shout same recommendation? Shout out to all the Applebee's for- working listeners here. If you work at Applebee's and you listen to the podcast, change shout your out life. To you. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to you. Change your life. They still doing a hustle too, but no, nah, he he, he kind of told me about team. something. He was he was setting me up. And actually, one relation was mm-hmm. was set up, but we won't get into that. No, 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 no. See, you got to put his finger on my mouth just to silence me from telling the truth. No, no. The you know what I, you did. The truth. I, sorry. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. We're not even going to get that was the person who I was with. You co-signed, co-signed it. but you no, co-signed. She asked me like, but "Yo, is your homie single?" I was like, "Oh yeah, he's single." I was like, "Yeah, nah, let's see, let's see nah, if they vibe." That was me. Nah, let's nah. see if they vibe. That co-signed. was not was not my idea to set them up, but I I was like, "Okay, let's see." He was on board. Hang on, exactly. hang on. I asked this nigga <laughs> in the elevator <laughs> on the way up here. Up Why here. you do that? <laughs> no, I asked him. <laughs> he's like, you? "Hey, do you think just you know, given the whole you know track record of the whole relationship, do you think this person was you know?" Do we think we were compatible? Am I? And am I said, psychic? No, no, Can no. I see the future? Shut Do I know what I'm Shut up, you up. Speak now. Up. No, he said. He said no. He said it so so clear and succinct. No. What? What? What do you, what do you mean? No. You co-sign, buddy. You co-sign. <laughs> episode twenty. Everybody going. <laughs> e- episode twenty. Nigga, everybody. we don't get canceled. episode twenty. Nah, we. But would you canceled. let your parents set you up? I can't do that. I'm gonna be honest, Ken. If you said, "Yo, Evan, I got a girl that I want you to meet," which you've done that before, um, no. or was that the same person too who recommended that person? You remember Evan for president? Yeah, actually, yeah, that yo. was her. That was her. You love playing the thing. Yo, Zim. That yo, was her. Was I ain't even want to go to Applebee's, dog. Like she love this shit, man. Why am I suddenly DMX? <laughs> Shrimp and steak. <laughs> <laughs> yes, one thing I can't eat because it will kill me. Maybe you should. Maybe I should. <laughs> Maybe I should. Maybe I yep. Should. But back to the topic. Would you let? I ain't gonna take a thing from you. But would you let your parents set you up? No. Really? No. The person who knows you best is my. Probably niggas. knows you better than you know yourself. They've known me my entire life, but they don't know my romantic like what I'm. They don't know your taste. Ex- oh, essentially, yeah. They don't know what you're looking for. Exactly. They don't know how you like your mic talked into. <laughs> how you like your chill Scott. Just exactly. Like They're not gonna find Talking no Joe Scott for me. Like that. You want to sip? Nah, you gotta say it like Twenty One Savage. So, what about you, Akai? You gonna take me? It? I I know my family looks out for me, but I wouldn't do it. Really? Not Only even. because not because you know I I don't trust their judgment or anything like that. But I would rather it be a friend because I feel like it's not within a circle of people that they readily know and they already have like a little bit of a bias. Because mm. I feel like if they're going into it like that, it's like, oh, well, you know, I know this person for this and this and this. Maybe he might like this because he likes this. Mm-hmm. But what, don't well, you feel like your parents would have like some type of like insight that your friends not, couldn't have? Your, your parents your parents know who your fake friends are before you do. So yeah. why can they? Yeah. I've, they, I've, always, I've always believed that. But when it comes to relationships. My parents are talking about you, Meryl. You know what's crazy? I don't mean in a bad way. They always confuse you for somebody else. Really? <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh, he's a bad friend, that guy. And then, like, they name, they say your name, but describe somebody else. Wow. Which Damn. is, I'm like, that's not him. Sure, it's not me? <laughs> no, it's not you. 
Oh, oh, so somebody, we're we're cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but I was. No, according to my parents, so back to this point, parents do know something. They have some type of insight. Yeah, parents parents know your fake friends before you do. But in, when it comes to like actual romantic relationships, I wouldn't I wouldn't give them free reign to like, hey, find somebody for me. Like, find, That's like find me a you wife. You trying to no. find somebody for your moms? Yeah, you, I don't know. Do you think you, I don't know could who you she trust yourself? And vice versa do you for think my you could, mom. Do you think you could? If I had to call my grandmother, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't I, no, I'd ask my I'd, my, I'd ask my mom's cool friends. Cool enough for you, my mom's. Yeah, that's what I'm like, saying. Because it's like it's, it's it, that nigga gotta be rich. Because <laughs> that was my only thing. What the like to me like with certain parents like when they want to look out for your best interests is because this person is somewhat financially stable. They're looking at that. They're looking at quality of life. They're looking at they other factors you. outside of uh, um chemistry. Yeah, they can't predict that. That's up to yeah. you. But they're probably looking at other factors. That's why I'm that saying because I feel but like what, you know it'd be a little biased. But that's why I would trust my friends to find somebody for me before I would ask my family to do it. Not mm -hmm. even like, not even like beyond parents. Like I wouldn't even ask my sisters to find somebody for me. Really? Yeah. Like Damn. if if I had to, I would ask my older sister to find somebody for me. Like she obviously she knows me. If they came to you and said I found somebody, would you be like, all right? I'd go out. I'd go out on the blind date with them, but would I? Would I expect a whole lot? No. What about you? If your brother came to you and was like, "Yo, I got somebody for you. I want you to try and see him." Would you like take I mean, up Kane on that? He has really good judgment. He does. Shout out to even Kane. if your yeah. mom did that. Your mom but was like, "Yo, the, I got somebody for you." But at the same time, I feel like it's just like I'm good. Only because I know there's going to be a little bit of a bias towards mm -hmm. me. Because I know they know me very well. We're very close, of course. But at the same time. I wouldn't want it to be like a thing of ah, uh, like I feel obligated now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then what also, if your brother did it. Though? Yeah, I'm sorry to cut you my off. brother. Yeah. I have five of them, so no, not um, <laughs> not the one that lived with just you. Gonna the, say, I'm just gonna old, say, I'm just gonna say no. That, that just I gonna need. say He's no. Just gonna say no. Oh, okay. Just gonna say no because one thing I do like pay attention to a lot when it comes to that type of thing is taste. I know all of my brother's <laughs> taste. No, I know my mother's <laughs> taste. No, <laughs> your father. Taste. Hear him out. <laughs> <laughs> Hear him out. Hear him out. Twenty five dollars check. Good save. <laughs> My father know what he's doing. <laughs> he Love like letters. Love letters. Sound like a pimp, man. That's what I'm just saying. That is, that is some pimp shout shit. out to I'm all our family lie. here. Yeah, on the shout out to all our family. <laughs> Love y'all. Yeah, definitely. That's why I, I just think that I I'd be more open to it, but except I would be open to the idea of it. But for me personally, I can't do that because I know my mother's taste. Yeah. So I can't do that. So you'd be more willing to do the friend rather than fam. I don't trust y'all. What, what, what about Safan? What about Safan? Panda, if he was to be like, yo, bro, I got... No! <laughs> what? Damn! No! What about Tone or Jade? If Jade recommended me somebody, yeah. I'd be... I, you know what? I'm going to take Jade because she listens to me. She has my insight on a lot of things. So she, I feel like she knows a little she kinda deep part of me. She kind of has to for this whole if thing, If she's paying attention. <laughs> she, she's like... <laughs> she's like, yeah. She nodded. She's paying attention. <laughs> So I would definitely. She yeah. walked out. What about Tone? What about Tone? <laughs> if Tone came to me and was like, "Yo, bro, mm. I got a chick for you," mm. I know Tone. Hell no! Is he gonna pass me off one of his bitches? That he's, it's one of his rejects. It's like, yo, she's sweating me, but yo, hear my man's over here. You won't see him, yo. He mad funny. No, oh, he's my. insta familiar. <laughs> Yo, shout Yo, out Tone. Shout I know out my shows. I'm funnier than you, but he's funnier than me. <laughs> <laughs> Go to him. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Good on that, Tone. Just let me know where to record it. Oh, there you <laughs> go. <laughs> Just send me the ads, bro. Send the ads. Send, send link, the me to, link me to Addy. You are exactly. Oh, goodness. But with that being said, I think we've, we've, we've hit it. We, we cool. hit it. We've done it. 19. 19 in the bank. Guys, any last words? I actually have one. Uh, shout out. To, no, no, no. It's, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm just being stupid. <laughs> shout out to my homie and a listener, Jimmy. Jimmy, two years ago, signed up at my job at my gym. He was over 300 pounds and was at risk for diabetes. Uh, earlier today, he competed at his first jiu-jitsu tournament and lost. Uh, he now weighs 171.8 pounds. So. Nice. So shout, shout out, out Jimmy. Jimmy. And shout out dope. to both my students, Chris and Kai. They competed yesterday and both took home like multiple gold medals. So nice. shout out to them. Boo, get the <laughs> <laughs> oh, They're gonna beat your ass. Oh man, they're gonna come down to the studio. Episode what, 20. What I got about you, bro? <laughs> Episode 20. That's all that's all I gotta say. Episode 20. Any What's their names? So I'm gonna bring them down to this. Chris <laughs> and Kai. Yo, they're coming for you. Any social up. medias that y'all wanna promote? Uh I'm Godzilla underscore kinda on IG. 
on Instagram. I'm Rojo Fiasco. <laughs> Guys, you already know mine on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. All of those are at Evan Combest. Guys, don't forget to shout out to City World Radio. Shout out to Sky's Crescent Radio. FD10. FD10 coming up December 8th. Get your tickets. The link is in the description. Till then, see you niggas next week. <laughs> Smack a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Radio, and here's what's coming up. On the first Sunday of the month, we have the Poet Podcast with Dale Novella. On the second Sunday of the month, we have the Soul Tree Spotlight with Erlene Stevens. And we also have Keeping It Funky with Troy Weeks. On the third Sunday of the month, we have Boozy News with Supreme Bars. And on the fourth Sunday of the month, we have What's Really Good with Jeanette Berry and Clout Dealers with The Label Noir. And every Sunday at 7, we have Can We Not with Evan Combus. Peace. Yo, what's going on? Y'all listening to Sky's Crescent Radio, and here's what's coming up. On the first Sunday of the month, we have the Poet Podcast with Dale Novella. On the second Sunday of the month, we have the Soul Tree Spotlight with Erlene Stevens. And we also have Keeping It Funky with Troy Weeks. On the third Sunday of the month, we have Boozy News with Supreme Bars. And on the fourth Sunday of the month, we have What's Really Good with Jeanette Berry and Clout Dealers with The Label Noir. And every Sunday at 7, we have Can We Not with Evan Combus. Peace. Yo, what's going on? Y'all listening to Sky's Crescent Radio, and here's what's coming up. On the first Sunday of the month, we have the Poet Podcast with Dale Novella. On the second Sunday of the month, we have the Soul Tree Spotlight with Erlene Stevens. 